The Squad and 42 gameplay reveal was just amazing. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Orgo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. Alright guys, the first day of season con 2954 just concluded and um, I have to admit, I have to admit, the highlight of uh, this entire day was definitely hands down Squad 42. Uh, the gameplay reveal and, and it, it's kind of tough because a lot of the things that they showed uh this day were really good were really really good from the first panel all the way through to the squad and 42 gameplay reveal we had some really good stuff revealed and let me tell you guys um for the i've been watching movies since i was a kid i've been playing video games since i was a kid and i have to admit this is the first time I've ever been at the edge of my seat while watching a gameplay uh, reveal like this. Um, the way the game pulls you in and gets you involved, make it feel like you're actually the character, you're involved with the live action. It, it, it was just amazing how they, they delivered and this was just the uh, prologue. It's the the way everything was done in such a cinematic way. The way that uh, you know um, the gameplay. First of all, the graphics look amazing. The graphics look amazing. The gameplay was very stunning. It, it was it was just it was just out of this world, to be quite honest. You know the cutscenes were very 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 um appealing the cutscenes were very very let me say this they did a great job at pulling you in into the story and just putting you right there uh in the midst of it and it, it was fantastic i it was super hyped to see ue going head to head with the van duel and even even the van duel the um the way the actors played it out it was it was just phenomenal it was phenomenal the way they showcased the the different ships the way they showcased the kind of firepower each ship had and how how capable they were the the vandal king ship i'm not sure if this was the first time of us seeing the vandal king ship but it was monstrous it was a beast the weapons on them were just phenomenal the lasers were just crazy you know and the way they put you in into this uh as as a character um just surviving the ships escaping the ships and you know traversing around in different ways um traversing around with the the push pull tech that uh, they've been talking about for quite some time was phenomenal to be able to you know while you're in the midst of space jumping from one piece of debris into to the next and you can see in in the, in the background you can see the, the ships are still going at it these big ships fighting and these fighters flying in between them it was we were literally at the edge of our seats watching it just imagine playing it you know it, it was it was a beautiful experience although there were bugs there were crashes and that's um it's proof that it's not pre-recorded it's proof that it's 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 it, it isn't faked you know it's proof that it's a legitimate game that's still being in, in development now i kind of understand uh, with the little bugs here and there why they still want to polish it and still want to work on it but to be quite honest i'm a little disappointed with the fact that uh it's been pushed all the way to 2026 i was kind of hoping mid-year 2025 um that we would see it but they want to push it to 2026 so i'm not even sure they may be pushed it to the end of 2026 knowing cig but um uh, what they're working on is is I can't think of another game that can match the level of immersion, the level of cinematics, the level of action, uh, the way it pulls you in, and and, and the way um, the combat experience was was phenomenal. It was a ten out of ten in my eyes, to be quite honest. Uh, the way um, everything played out, um, Squadron Forty Two is definitely looking good. I cannot think of another game that can compete with it, even in the in the, in 2026. I don't know what other studio can 
come up with a masterpiece like that, to be quite honest. Um, and I think CIG is, is headed in the right direction in terms of uh, the kind of product they want to deliver. And Chris Roberts, um, I understand why he wants to continue to work on it and, 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 and improve it and, and, you know, make it better because he wants to deliver a masterpiece. And just this, this prologue really um, pulled me and the guys um, into it. And we were really, really, really amped when we watched it. Um, but you guys let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. What do you guys think of the Squad of 42 uh, gameplay review? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.